What up you guys, it's Ryan. Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be taking a closer look at the Porsche 911 and give you guys my thoughts on the set now that I've had it for a while, it's been built and everything. Tomorrow, Saturday, January 8th, I'm gonna be doing my first live stream from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. That's mountain time in the United States. So I'll put a little chart up here just to kind of give you a reference of where I'm at. <laughs> so anyways, if you guys wanna join, feel free to jump in, chat with me for a bit. But without further ado, let's jump into the Porsche 911. This is set number 10295. It comes with 1,458 pieces, ages 18 and up. This is a two-in-one set. This was released January 28th of 2021, so about a year ago from right now. And for me, it quickly became one of my favorite sets that I personally own. And today we're gonna jump into exactly why that is and why I think they did an amazing job with the details on the Porsche 911. At the beginning of the instruction manual, they have pictures of each Porsche 911 Turbo and the Targa, showcasing some different years and models, which is a nice touch to look at before you get building your own Porsche. So in this set, you're basically going to be able to build one of two options. You can build a Porsche 911 Turbo or the 911 Targa, the Turbo being the coupe, mostly from the 70s, and the Targa being from the 80s with the convertible. Personally for me, I preferred the coupe, so I built the coupe version. Starting with the front of the car, one of my favorite things is the angled headlights, giving it that exact look that they had from the 70s and 80s. They have the nice sloped hood, which actually is a, is a frunk, <laughs> like a front trunk, because really the engine is in the back of the Porsche. So as you can see here, this is what it looks like with the hood open. Just a lot of nice storage space if you wanna put any extra pieces or the extra plates, because this does come with multiple options of different countries that you can put on the nameplate or the number plate. For me, I chose New York because I live in the United States. They have a nice printed slope piece with the Porsche icon right in the front on the hood, which looks really nice. And with the nice reflector lights down below, I think one of the only things on this whole set that they really should have tried to figure out how to smoothen out are those studs right below each headlight. Um, other than that, this set is very, very seamless. As for the build, it was a very fun build, very unique in the way that they utilize the pieces. For example, the rear view mirrors to the doors, to the seats, so many fun different techniques that they use to accomplish the set. As we move around from the front into the interior, this is probably one of my favorite things about the car and the set. Having that caramel interior going against the pearl white on the outside is one of my favorite looks. And one day my goal is to get a Porsche and no joke, this is the exact style I would do. I would do the black rims with the white paint and the brown interior, but it's a fantastic looking interior. The way they use the beveled pieces to create the nice leather looking seats. They have the handbrake, the gear shift, also with functional steering. So when you turn the steering wheel, the front tires move and they did keep the accuracy of having the wide body in the back over the tires, giving it that more sporty look that these did have back then and obviously still have today. And as we move around to the back Porsche logo going all the way across the red, looks very nice. You can see they have the engine in the back. To my knowledge, this is a boxer engine. Um, I love the details with the fan and all the different pumps that they have going on on it. For me, I would give this set a solid eight or nine out of 10. I think they did an impeccable job. I think it is very elegant looking and very smooth. And again, very detailed and accurate to the models of the Porsche. One of the options you have as well is they have gray rims or black rims. For me, I'm a personal fan of black rims, so I chose the black rims to put on the Porsche, but obviously I think they have it with the 911 Turbo. You're gonna have the black rims and the Targa, or the gray rims, I think, but at least for me, regardless, I know you could switch them out if you wanted, but for me, I chose the black rims. Um, definitely was bigger than I thought. Obviously, I don't have a huge collection of cars like this, but um, this was one I couldn't pass up on. Um, so yeah, for me, this is definitely a great set to pick up and definitely worth it. I think it was around $150, but uh, yeah, definitely worth it. All right guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video.